Hi, I'm going to talk today about the 4-Hour Workweek book um, by Tim Ferriss. It's, it's not a book I would normally go for, but my friend Kento and also one of my friends out in India, Nimesh, had brought up that the book's worth reading. Um, I'm not a pro-marketing person. I find most of the stuff with marketing is excessive these days. And marketing gurus, as they like to call themselves, are generally annoying, obnoxious people that are self-promoting constantly with things like, awesome, that's fantastic. You know, the people I would absolutely hate to be stuck in the same room with. But this book, I have to admit, isn't pushed that way as much as some of the people I've seen online that talk about how it changed my life. Um, but it does follow some of the same basic guidelines of how some of the people I know in that marketing field are working. Because a lot of them got their original ideas from the book. Um, now, it's not for marketing people. Um, it, it, see, marketing is not about marketing people. Marketing people are about selling themselves for services. In this book, it was more about selling the book than anything else, I would assume. Um, because it doesn't really discuss how he got from A to B. It just discusses like a uh, mini biography. And then this is bits and pieces of information you might find useful and what I do, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't actually talk about how he got from A to B. Because reality is the product where he made most of his money, um, I would assume, um, um, because it hasn't been proven medically that it was just a placebo. Um, it's overpriced, overrated, heavily marketed product. Why that's relevant is because a lot of the stuff that follows it comes from the fact that he'd already made his money uh, with working with the product. Um, it sort of goes through different stages of how they outsource, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, if you're going to think that the business model is going to come out of this, it won't. You, it's not going to teach you how to become a millionaire. What it's going to teach you is how to recover time. Now, I don't see it as a be-all and end-all. I see it as a starting point. And that's, that's basically where I took it from. Um, the first 100 pages I found really difficult to read because Tim likes to talk about himself an awful lot. Um, it's very egotistical on, on the first, first part of the book. But the, the information later on um, can be quite useful. And also, there's over-explanations. It could be that it's being written for people that don't understand the word yes, so you have to explain the way yes in four different ways so that they understand the, the whole concept. So I'm not sure if that's it's just the level it's been written for originally. Um, because my friends have said the same thing, the, the guy loves to talk about himself. But the whole point here is ignoring all the crap, um, the book is quite useful. And I would say the cost of the book you would recover quite quickly, either in monetary or time. Now, what I'm going to say monetary is the relevant for outsourcing. Uh, for example, if you are doing um, a certain task every week that you get paid for and you can pay somebody less to do it, then obviously you're going to get the money back rather quickly because that sort of thing you've actually passed on to somebody else to do your job for you. So although you're not actually getting paid extra, you actually have more time and could focus on something else. So that's where you would actually gain it back. That's why I say the actual value on this book is the fact it's very reasonably priced and it's not difficult to put some of this stuff into play. Now, will it teach you how to become a millionaire? The answer is no. Um, the new rich stuff is all typical marketing stuff. Um, lose 10 pounds in three days, lose 30 pounds in a week, you know, it's all that sort of crap, you know. It's not going to teach you how to be new, uh, the new rich. What it's going to teach you is some of the things that people do. And not all of it is relevant to the new rich, for example. It's his perception of what the new rich is. Now, the other side of that being is a lot of the information 
you'll find you can use on a daily basis and you can automate some of your life and you can make life simpler. It's reorganizing a person. Um, that would be more of the focus than the actual start a new business or become rich overnight sort of perspective because it's not, it's not going to teach you anything about that. What it's going to teach you is a set of rules that can actually make your life easier. Now what, what happens with that, as Tim Ferriss has obviously found, is the more time you have, the more um, ability and functions you can have to do something else. For example, a friend of mine did a book on Philippines travel. He never even wrote it. He paid somebody in India $100 to write it. He got it, proofread it, and did some alterations, got some photos from somewhere else, and then stuck it online for sale for $20 uh, a copy. What's it costing? $100, $150, and he just sits it online. It might only sell 10 copies a year, but 10 copies a year is $200 to him. So, you know, the, things like automation is a, an important aspect of things that people haven't looked at in their own lives. Because the, the thing is, the, infinite, the internet is still in its infancy, which is why some of this is still relevant. Give it 10 years, I think the book will have very little to use because so much of the market would have changed. But there's a lot of information in there that will make your life easier. So from a judgmental point, I would say the, the book is worth its money, but if you're expecting to find a business plan or something that's going to change your life overnight uh, to make you rich, you're wasting your time. And I would say to you, don't waste your time buying any books you assume are going to give you the ultimate solution to becoming rich overnight. Because most of the people that write them got rich overnight by selling those books. They're not real books. They're not real people. Because the, the real people that do stuff, the, they have a set structure. And you need to spend more time learning about the real people that do it, not the people that didn't do it. Um, that's, that gets back to the word. That's why I hate marketing people. Because um, marketing people generally are marketing themselves as a the product or a brand to make themselves rich, so that they can turn around and say, look, I got rich by marketing myself and blah, blah, blah. It, it's just a cycle. Um, Tim Ferriss had, had some luck with some, some of his ideas and I think over the time it sort of developed into where he is now, where he's actually starting to understand how to simplify his life, plus outsource a lot of the stuff. Now, outsourcing is a completely different thing, and I would discuss that if anyone's interested, because I actually sit in the Philippines, which is the business capital of outsourcing. I'm not an expert. But Tim Ferriss' book is states, says, I'd say says in the loosest term, because it's not verbatim, that you're an expert when everyone else in the room isn't as smart as you or knows less about the subject. Now, my perception with that be is that a guy that eats crayons but can read and write would be smarter, an expert at teaching English because the children in his class don't understand English as a first language. Well, I, you know, that, that's a humorous version of it, but the fact that for expert for me is somebody actually knows what they're talking about, not just skimmed over a book or try to create something. That's why I don't get on with marketing types um, because I study what I do. And it's not marketing. I study like engineering, things like that, which is a completely different perception, uh, perspective, which is also something you brought up in the book about not bothering with a PhD in things, um, becoming an expert in something that's simple or something you know about that others don't know as much of, which could be like a photography class for, for beginners. Um, it can work, it does work, and if you can get enough people interested, you can make a living from it. But I still wouldn't class that as an expert. I would class that as somebody running 
a beginner's course um, because there won't be any David Bailey photographer, for example, teaching beginners classical photography. Um, but, like I said, the book itself, I recommend buying it and reading it just because of some of the decluttering stuff, which will make your life easier generally. I'm actually going through the process of uh, automating some of the stuff I do here in the Philippines, come off to the UK very shortly. Um, so that a lot of the things I would normally be doing myself that takes my time, I'm going to be getting other people to do it. Um, and I'm going to discuss that in the next video uh, because some of the software that was brought up in the book I've actually found quite useful so far. Um, it had been brought up before to me, it's just that when you get you get communication overload, I think that's the term, you get too much information coming through regularly that you start filtering everything out and not listening. Um, the last two, three weeks though, I've actually shut a lot of stuff down so I can read and do stuff I want to do rather than stuff that normally I'd need to do. Um, you know, I'm not running around at the moment, I'm focusing on things for setting up for 2014. Uh, which gets me to another thing as it's uh, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the book if you've read it. And also, if you have any comments about the video, let me know. Um, because these videos I decided to just do as a test trial just to see if people are actually interested. And People seem pretty interested in what I'm up to, which is, which is quite good. Um, if they are, I'll just keep doing them wherever I'm on the globe. Uh, I have, have a tab with me most of the time, so I can take it anywhere. Um, thanks for listening. Okay, thanks.